more than 90% of cancer deaths are as a result of metastatic disease. If we could intervene early, we might be able to help with the development of new therapies or new treatments, or in fact, stop that process. The whole point of a patient taking part in donating their samples is that we can get useful information back from it that will aid cancer research going forward. Working with patient samples is always challenging because if anything goes wrong or even something that's totally out of your control, say a freezer malfunctions and, and drops, patient samples aren't replaceable. Lack of patients on clinical trials certainly limits the number of samples that we can work with, but it also is optimising the use of any single sample that we get from a patient. The infrastructure that one needs in order to get an, an a sufficient number of patients on a clinical trial in any one institution uh, is considerable uh, in terms of nurses and uh, clinicians and, and laboratory scientists, etc., etc. I heard about the Project EXPECT and I just thought it sounded like such an interesting trial because it was totally patient-centred. It was going to be the first of its kind in Ireland and it was targeting a population with metastatic prostate cancer. I expect we'll see a big difference in the adipokine cytokine. If we're fortunate enough to have fresh blood samples from patients as well as tissue, that allows us to apply a quite broad-ranging panel of different types of assays so that we can really interrogate what's happening in their disease process. And so we're starting to personalise the way we treat individual patients with their disease. One of the key ideas behind this is that the tumour cells are shielded from the immune system by a coating of platelets. And that's primarily what this project has been about, is to find out why these cells are using platelets to hide from the immune system and to see if the patient takes a fairly vigorous exercise program to see if that makes a difference. We have to look at slides, it takes time, it takes energy, it takes personal investment to really generate data. And a huge amount of data is collated between all the different disciplines that are involved in the clinical trial. One of the major challenges that we face now is dealing with data. We need people who are sufficiently skilled with computer programming and bioinformatics to be able to do that for us and help us. The other difficulty with data is it's limiting if we're trying to accumulate a large number of samples. It requires us to biobank, but there's no funding typically to sustain that bank. And so the next researcher who comes along either to ask a follow-on question or a similar question, they will get their funding and then they start from scratch. International partners is so critical. One barrier that needs to be broken down is that we need to embed research in the clinical community and I've seen that in the best centres that I've worked in and we're working for that kind of activity uh, here in TTMI and uh, Trinity College Dublin and St James's Hospital. I think we're at a really exciting point in cancer research and treatment for patients with cancer at this point but we need to move away from the idea in some cancers that we're just going to cure it and we need to accept people can live well notwithstanding they have a chronic disease. And that chronic disease, much like diabetes or asthma, happens to be cancer, but we're dealing with it.